So, uh, in this second part of this uh, seamless brick looking texture tutorial, I'm going to be creating a brick looking looking texture. I just created, I already created this kind of uh, looking uh, texture that you can look up how I created it in part one of this tutorial sequence. So, we are going to go back to channels and select control click on alpha and go back to layers and create a new layer and then just control shift i on the keyboard to invert the selection and we're going to uh, paint it with something dark maybe not completely dark but dark grayish with paint bucket tool control d on the keyboard to deselect everything and not much is uh, done. Just the the seams between the the bricks are going are are a little bit uh, lighter. But I want to use this to create some shadows on the bricks without uh, losing the without losing the seamless uh, option of these bricks. So. If I would normally create, want to create an uh, inner glow, I would just go to select this brick looking uh, layer and just go back to inner glow and select something blackish and it would look okay. But as we can see here on the edge, we have this kind of uh, inner glow on the middle of the brick and this is not okay because when we uh, tile this brick it's going to look like hell it would look like seams all over the place and it won't look good at all so I don't, I don't want to uh, this kind of uh, shadows with this effect uh, that's why I selected I created this uh, seams uh, oh, how should I say it between the bricks layer and I'm going to go filter and select outer glow and I'm going to select normal and some darkish color and I'm going to maybe decrease it a little bit and make it a little bit more visible and I just created a really a similar similar version of these uh, shadows without losing a lot of uh, Edge. It it's still not perfect here on the edges, but it's really not that uh, catastrophic as as it was before. So this is additional something uh, additional to not have this like crisp crisp uh, bricks. But if you like it, you can use it. If don't, don't. So uh, we are going to uh, create a new layer and again fill it with any color we want. Pressing G with the paint bucket tool and go here. Select something not completely dark and not completely white. And again filter uh, render clouds. Again we should always make sure it's stylable. So filter other offset it by half of the canvas in our case 500 by 500 and with healing brush tool alt click click holding shift on the keyboard to drag and do the same with the horizontal line I'm not going to make it perfect just to make sure you didn't forget this step so go back to filter other offset it again and voila set it to multiply and we get this dirty look on our brick again we just select the layer and then just create another adjustment layer holding alt on the keyboard pressing hue saturation and clicking use previous layer to create clipping mask it's going to affect the layer below and just uh, click on colorize and we are going to use some more uh, Situation on this one, and we are going to duplicate it. 
pressing Ctrl J on the keyboard and pressing Alt on the keyboard and clicking beneath the uh, between these two layers to make them uh, affect each other, only each other. So we're going to double click here and create a little bit different color and maybe increase the saturation and decrease the uh, lightness. So we make it a little bit darker. So uh, then we click on the mask and again go to brushes and select something similar to this and just uh, by painting with black color we are going to hide some some of this uh, darkish black color. You should probably try to stay away from the edges of this document because remember we are going we are trying to create a seamless version of this uh, brick looking uh, wall uh, but you can always uh, use it use, let's see if this works also here yeah you can also uh, move the mask move the mask it's going to move the mask okay Never mind that. So we just created some uh, different color effects and we can add another one by creating a new layer, filling it with some random color and then just selecting not completely black, not completely white and render clouds and we can add, uh, so let's set it to color burn and just decrease it to, I don't know, 15%, 20%. This way we just added a little bit of the color using uh, a, new, a new cloud looking layer. So this is pretty much it when creating a brick looking style. No, it's not. We have this kind of uh, brick looking style, but we should always create some noise. And this time I'm going to fill it with uh, color and go to filter texture and use grain this is another way to create uh, some noise looking effect and it's a little bit uh, more usable than just click by pressing file uh, effect noise and add noise we just have some different uh, different options and I'm going to use sprinkles and you can set up the intensity, the contrast, or maybe stippled. So just click OK and then just go up here to multiply to make it visible. But this time we're going to use overlay, no overlay screen. It's not really what I was looking for, but why not? You can always blur it a little bit. Just it's just so it's still seen, but it will not affect uh, the end result as much. So I'm going to create another one. This time I'm going to noise, add noise. And this time I'm going to set it to color bar, color burn and just decrease it a little bit so we get this kind of multiple uh, color looking style of the brick. So looking by, uh, on the 100% it looks kind of jagged. Uh, exactly how the brick should look like yeah so this is pretty much it uh, how to create a seamless uh, brick looking texture for your texture maps for your 3d models and end up looking something like this when adding to your 3d models and creating some 
simple but effective 3D looking models. So subscribe to my channel, check out the rest of the videos. If you like this video, please share it with your friends and enjoy your day till next time. Bye.